Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 11 of Book 2, which gives us the methods to find a point H on a line AB such that AB times HB will be equal to AH all squared. So how do we do that? The first thing we're going to do is to draw a square on AB. Draw a line from E to B and extend AC upward. And define a point F such that EB, sorry, such that EF is equal to EB. Draw a square on FA. Extend the line GH all the way down to K. And this proposition states that FH is equal to HD. Now, how do we prove that this is true? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look again at Proposition 6 from Book 2. I've just redrawn the diagram so that we can refresh our memories a little easier. And Proposition 6 of Book 2 states that CF times AF, which is this area here, plus AE squared, which is this area here, is equal to the square of EF. So that's from Proposition 6 of Book 2. Going back to our original diagram. Now we have CF times AF plus AE squared equals EF squared but EF is equal to EB, so we end up with this equality here. Now if we look at our triangle AEB, it's a right angle triangle, so from Pythagoras' theorem we have AB squared plus AE squared is equal to EB squared. Let's look at these two equalities. They're both equal to EB squared, so hence they are equal to each other. So if we subtract AE squared off of both sides, we end up with that these two are equal to each other. So we have AB squared is equal to CF times AF. Now the square of AB is equal to the rectangle AD. CF times AF, CF times AF is this rectangle here. CF times AF is FK. So we have this square is equal to this rectangle. In which case, we can subtract off the rectangle AK from both sides of this equality to end up that FH is equal to HD. Now, FH is equal to AF squared. We constructed it that way. HD is equal to HB times BD, but BD is equal to AB because we constructed this as a square. So HD is equal to HB times AB. And thus we have that AH squared is equal to AB times BH, which is what we were trying to do in the first place. So thus we have demonstrated how to construct or find the point H such that this equality is true. Now before I conclude, I'd like to remind people about the golden ratio. Now the golden ratio is defined as A is to B as A plus B is to A if A is larger than B. This is the golden ratio. We can see that if AH is equal to A and HB is equal to B, these two segments define the golden ratio. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.